What's up everyone, Daddy Robux here, and today we are continuing our playthrough of the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. I think I accidentally clicked Seam. Okay, so, so far, um, you guys were making your way through uh, the, I forget what it was called, the Twisted Caverns, which is like these giant caverns that were like um, overgrown with these fungal forests and working way through the caverns we met a couple interesting characters Jibber Jabber and the Alchemist and the drow who tasked you with destroying the Aboleth and its minions um, as you worked your way through you did slay the Aboleth you destroyed the Kuatilla and uh, had a bit of a crisis when it came time for the, uh, when it came time to destroy all the children as well, um, and then after meeting with the Drow, you found out that the Drow intended to fully take over that level, and although you guys were the friends of the Drow and they would allow you passage, uh, they made it very clear that they intended to kill Jibber Jabber and the Alchemist. So uh, with a bit of regret. You guys took on the drow and managed to kill most of them. I say most of them because, as you are aware, there were sentries posted to the south of where you were fighting that seemed to have disappeared during the main fight. And that is where we are picking up today. Um, after killing the drow, you guys checked on Jibber Jabber and the alchemist. They were both still alive and well. Um, and after working your way back through the Twisted Caverns, you were debating on whether or not you could take a rest um, because jibber jabber made it seem that the the drow were a very dangerous force to be enemies with and that it may no longer be safe on this level um, and, and that is where we ended the session you guys were still debating should we rest here could we rest here or or should we move on so what would you guys like to do A short rest before we keep moving. Go the short rest. Short rest. Why is nobody talking? I would not mind, and I start rubbing the mushroom on everything of. So short rest. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Take a short rest, and you'll be able to complete that no problem. Morning, dice. I should be able to heal people for the short term, so. Looks like I still have my, I have all my healing light things. Ooh. Has AIDS worn off yet? I would assume, yes. Yeah, it lasts it's eight hours. Eight hours? Doesn't it? Then, no. I don't, I have no idea. Isn't AIDS eight hours? Yeah. You know, that thing you're supposed to cast outside of combat? Yeah, eight hours. eight hours. Eight hours. You want to just... Do we do want to just what? How do we want to get to the river? Well, the river is just to your south. You guys would remember that from before. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I remember that, but I also remember there were dogs who walked past without stopping them. But I'm thinking there might be a problem this time. Well, we're still trying to get downstairs, correct? Yep. 
if you fear the dogs, we could go uh, west and get the river and just follow the lake or follow the river a little bit longer. Yeah. So we know if we backtrack up, there's the lake there. Okay. If you're afraid of the dogs, I don't really mind killing. I mean, if you want to kill the dogs, I'm okay with killing the dogs. Dogs? They're quagoths. Yeah. I don't care one way or the other. Just get the hell out of here. I mean, Wolf has already said he was low on resources. I figure we want to save our resources until later. I'm good enough if we need them. Okay. I'll save my stuff for you guys. Quagoths are human? I did not know that. So lead on. I figured monstrosity. Anyway. No, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well. So before you guys start moving your tokens all willy nilly, what was the plan? Backtrack and. and enter onto the river from the west or just head the south and deal with the uh, dogs it was west I'm pretty sure okay so uh, I'm not going to make you guys move your tokens I'm not going to have you, you know, do anything there um, you're able to, to get to the bank no problem and across the giant gap you do see a great number of those dogs uh, grouped up on the other side. You you say that, uh, I think it's funny, you call them dogs, but they are large humanoid, uh, almost like, like ape men. Think like a yeti or a sasquatch. And they, they kind of tower over everybody. And uh, they're all just kind of standing at the edge of the, the chasm, looking at all of you as you pull out your folding boat and uh, board and then you begin to head down the river to the south um, it is actually quite a bit of a, a long journey as there is approximately 500 feet of There's water for you to travel but um, eventually you will reach your destination head to the floor below Sweet. All right. So I'm going to move you. Whoever got that. You what? Nothing. I You were cutting out heavy, so as long as somebody knows what we're doing, we're heading somewhere. I he ended it with, we got to the next floor, so everything in between is ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> All right. Dude. It's going to be dark. It's because you're not on the map. I mean, how high is your bitrate set to on Twitch? We went through this before. A bitrate hasn't changed. It, it's something with Discord, because there's other reports in, like, the Discord subreddit, and if you look at their trouble, like, their user reports, a lot of people are reporting just a sudden drop. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's... It's weird that it's you. Yeah. Like, no, it, it, it's, else, it's me whatever. and my client. I've, I've completely... Uh, you know, uninstalled and restored, and it's not every time. It's just Mondays, it seems. I don't fucking know. So it's Ken's fault. Probably. That's what I'm thinking. I'm okay with this. Yeah, yeah. You can put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Here we are, we're on the river. You guys are on the boat, so just try to stay close together and you guys can uh, start advancing. Uh, I guess till you get to like here and draw it on the map. And then uh, as you... The map is black for me. It's because it's dark. 
Okay. Oh, right. Oh. Probably the same reason Wolf wouldn't be able to. Oh, no. Wolf. Yeah, Wolf wouldn't be able to see. I can't see shit. Yeah, it's dark. Somebody hold me. I cast light <laughs> on. Not well, there. Just give one of them light, the light cantrip, please. I, I'll cast it on whoever wants. I'm assuming we're on our boat, right? Yep. Am I supposed didn't to be able I... to see the number one right there? Didn't I have something that gave me light or no? Sure, yeah. Was that the cantrip? We have the drift globe. You have the cantrip light, and you have torches. I don't have the cantrip. No. Oh. I do. Don't you I have it by default? It. No. I thought I did, but I don't see. When he could take an extra cantrip, he had to choose between light and mending. And somebody oh, yeah, and convinced somebody him to take my mending. Arrows. But that's no problem, because I have light. Yeah, who are you casting it on? Uh, wolf. And both of them, why not? They both have light on them. If you cast light a second time, the first time it goes away. That's right. Then it's just on Wolf. On his. Lost or bickering. Um, I. You don't need to keep mending for me. When we were in town, I kind of bought twelve hundred arrows. I've kind of just been leaving them on the ground as we leave. Oh, sweet. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You, but you can't switch mending. your cantrips. Ever. No. Oh well, mending's still useful, so. You can fix things. Haven't you fixed something relevant? If only I could fix the boat to keep us all in it, huh? I don't even see the boat. That's because I didn't put it there. I said just no, move your tokens up one. the river. So, I mean, I can fly, but that one, is that, that one. a thing? That's just a map. I, you just asked me that, and I told you. It's just a map marker. Yep. Oh, I was listening. All right, we're going up the river, right? Yes. So does it hopefully? Does it perhaps look swampy? Actually, no. As you guys make your way down the river, um, first it's it's very treacherous as you proceed. Uh, the the current speeds up, and and it's a tumbling, turning uh, descent, and you travel downward roughly six hundred feet. It's a steep drop as you go deeper into the mountain. And as you proceed, the you are met with uh, a very different kind of sight. There is a shore here to the west. And to the west, what you see is uh, something that just cannot be true. In this dark cavern, you can see forests of trees like those that grow on the surface. Uh, the weather is very temperate, and when you approach, you can hear chirping birds and and what appears to be a very dense jungle. Even more peculiar is when you look to the, to the canopy of these trees, you see the sky. So much so that if you hadn't went down so very far, you would be convinced that you somehow arrived back at the surface. Would you allow me to have a nature check? Sure. And uh, what are you trying to discern? Does any of this look unnatural? Well, uh, uh, other than the fact that you are deep underground, it is all very unnatural. Go ahead and roll your uh, nature check. Okay, you can you can kind of look around at the surroundings, and you see that the forests are very real, but you know that they cannot grow here. The soil this deep underground wouldn't sustain the life, and so you can only guess that the this thicket is sustained by powerful magics. There is very powerful magic at play here. Uh, 
Ah. Interesting. Yank some of the grass out of the ground. Yeah, it's uh, it's real. The individual blades kind of fall between your fingers, and uh, just again struck with the fact that this shouldn't be happening. Does it look safe enough for us to take a sleep? Well, uh, the answer to that question would be to roll a perception check. I can do one of those. Is no advantage. 16, all right. So as you kind of stand at the edge of this dense forest and you strain to, to see everything ahead of you and you listen to the sounds, I mean, you like I said before, you can hear birds and chirping insects, what sounds like several mammals that are much deeper into the forest. But being a, being a ranger, I mean, this is not anything unusual. I mean, you feel that you would probably be just as safe here as you would be in any forest or jungle on the surface. So, I think we should find Dusky and then take a nap. Okay. Agreed. We can do watches if we want. We have to find Dusky first. Does anybody oh, have yeah. a sword I can borrow real fast? Oh, uh, you're, you're not armed? Yeah. I just want to test something. Like, one of our swords or one that you can keep? Oh, I'll give it back. I'll, I'll pass them my... Or, not my long sword, sorry. My, I don't know what... It's called Talon. I think it's just like a regular sword. It's a plus one sword, but yeah. Uh, uh, take the yeah. sword and jam it into the ground. Does it bottom out on rock? Uh, it, well, it doesn't really penetrate through all the soil, but no, no, there is actual dirt in in earth here. That is so peculiar. Yank the sword out and give it back. Uh, when he gets back the sword, does is he armed? Does he have anything? I can't remember if we looked. Yeah, yeah, I'm armed. Like with what? Stuff I'll never use. What? Don't we have... Dusky Wolf, don't we have something? In the bag? Or... Well, you wouldn't give me... He has stuff a bag. basic quarter staff, A little tiny one that he can beat somebody over the head with. I, and... I think you're missing the point. Dackard would never attack with a weapon. It's a staff of the woodland something something. Oh, yeah. You don't have a staff. What? No, you don't. You have a staff of the woodlands in the back of holding. Oh, that's right, because I was trying to convince you to dip into druid. Shit. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you really want that one. That's absolutely well, something you should attend to. Dusky and Wolf, we found that in the the mine. It... <laughs> <laughs> You guys have been that carrying that cool. around for like a little, like a year, like it outside of the. Yeah. <laughs> How was I supposed to remember so, this? <laughs> Dusky Wolf, would you be okay if we let uh, Dak use the staff of woodlands we have in the back of holding? Yeah, I would yeah. say yeah. I mean, I don't see us using it at any time. So. Uh, we almost sold it, then we didn't. So. Animal okay. friendship. I Go, I rip, reach into the bag holding you can cast a wait no, twice. Woodland. God damn it. Bark skin. And offer that the deck. seems extremely generous. If you can plant small Oh, well, you can use it for now. Well, thank you very much. I just stand there looking at it. So add it to your sheet as we pull it out of the bag. Oh yeah, we were talking about taking a nap. Yes, uh, long rest. Long here. rest. Um, we want to do a watch system where some of us run. We should certainly alternate watches. Fair enough. Let's do that. I don't mind taking first watch. I don't say second. 
All right. So you guys are gonna attempt a long rest with yeah, yeah. with the bird on the first watch. All right. Yes. Okay. Uh, Sashk. As yes. as you are keeping watch, you can see it's a bear. But I can see a bear. You can see a bear. It's 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 a a black bear, timidly peeking its head out from around uh, a thicket of trees to the west. As he kind of tiptoes forward, you can see his snout is pointed upwards, and he seems to be <laughs> he's sniffing around. Okay, so me as a person, uh, or sorry, as a bear, I don't know how to make a bear go away uh, non-confrontationally, but my character grew up in a forest with druids, so it would know what to do. Could I make a check yeah. to see? Yeah, that's exactly what you do. You could do an animal handling check and tell me, like, what would you what would you try to do? Make it go away. But yeah, but like, how? Is it fair, you're are you going to yell at it, or are you going to, like, coax it forward, it or def- like... I don't want to provoke it. I want to make it go away. Yeah, just go up and hit on it. That makes everything go away. <laughs> oh, just like real life. Oh, ouch. <laughs> oh, I can I can hear his self esteem withering from over here. Yeah, he deserves it first. <laughs> Anyways, does the bear go away or not? Ten. Uh, no, actually, yeah. as well, you didn't tell me what you were doing. <laughs> I wanted to shoo it away. So okay, so you put your hands on, you go shoot, shoot bear, and Too what much. instead happens is you gain its attention, and it starts to come forward. Uh non aggressive, uh, non hostile. It's just kind of tiptoeing forward, <laughs> and it's again, it's it's like sniffing. The I air. shoot an arrow at his feet, at, like at his feet. Like a warning shot. Oh. Okay. The bear. Uh, to warn this bear. Make a intimidation check. Uh. Sure. <laughs> so the bear kill this bear. You sh- <laughs> so you shoot an arrow at, at its feet. That's the intention. The arrow goes wide. So wide, in fact. That the bear doesn't even seem to register that you shot an arrow. It, it, it was so far away from it that it senses no danger. And it keeps creeping forward. I shoot another warning shot at the bear. Want to make another intimidation check? Not really. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> At this point, to kill this bear. the bear the bear walks up to you, right? It, 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 With it's intimidation rolls like that. The bear thinks you're its friend. It does. <laughs> it walks up to you, and it's like it, it's not. It's like nosing your hand with its snout, and it, it it's like headbutting your hand, almost like it's trying to get you to pet it. You are an actual fucking murder hobo if you kill this bear. I will... I will pet the bear, non-threatening like. Okay. Literally, it has defeated me. The 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 bear uh, response, you know, it 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 lets like a low a low like growling noise, not aggressive growl, you know, just a contented noise, and then it starts nosing around in your pack. No, no, it doesn't. I sh- I just gently push it away. It takes like two steps away from you and they're and comes back and starts sniffing your pack again. I wake up Dackard. <laughs> what? 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 What do you want? <laughs> deal with the bear. Or I'm... I'll deal with the bear. I'm sure what you can remember. Bear? Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> Make it go away. Let me see. Animal handling roll to uh to do something with the the bear. Well, he yeah. Tell me. Looks what... like he rather enjoys you. Tell me what you'd like to do, and then yeah, you can make a roll. 
I wouldn't mind having a bear hanging out. Uh, so... Do keep in mind we're on Twitch, so if you're gonna ERP some shit, maybe don't. I'm gonna try and befriend the bear. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what would you do to try and try and gain its its attention? Then make that that check. Do I see it sniffing around in his pack? Yeah. I take some food out of mine and then hold it out to him. Okay. Uh, or, off, I don't want to assume. Offering it food, uh, you don't even have to make a check. It comes over and starts to chomp noisily as it eats uh, eats your rations. Oh man, I didn't want to do that because now it's going to keep coming back and it's going to want more food. And... <laughs> kind of like you. We call this Operation Bear Tank. <laughs> That's your job, though. You're the bear tank. I look at its eyes as it's eating. Does it have bear eyes? Uh, I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> Compared to not bear eyes? Well, it's just, it's, it's non-aggressive. Yeah, it's not so. aggressive As a matter of fact, after eating your ration, it sits on its haunches and kind of lays down, putting its head in, in your lap. Tuckered the little guy out. I curl up with the damn bear. <laughs> and I go back to sleep. Ah. Uh, go back. I'm going to finish my... I like that a non-combat encounter got <laughs> Sashka off flustered. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do! The damn bear won't go away! <laughs> uh, oh. Alright. So, Sashk, uh, you go you, you go back to your watch, and, uh, you know, your time passes, and there's nothing else of note. Uh, who takes the second watch? I'm doing that. Okay. Um, it's. Oh, you're okay. Oh no! Now the bear's here. Uh, it's right around the time where you switch and Xavier is gonna take over. Uh, you begin to hear a loud thumping noise, which each crashing thump, um, you can hear trees falling over. And there are vibrations that echo through the forest. Am I up now, or is he still up? He's still up. It's during the okay. switch. I wanted to be asleep. No sleep for you. Look, my watch is over. Can you figure out what that honking noise is? I'm going to sleep tonight. What's with the bear? Oh, um, Dackard's friend. He, he kind of does that. Alright, whatever. Oh, do you hear that noise coming towards Bef us? Before I go to bed, could I make a check of some sort to uh, see if I recognize the sounds? Uh, like, is it a big bear that's coming? Like a mama bear on its way over here? There's no way to tell what kind of creature it is crashing through the jungle. The only thing that you are able to perceive creature. is that it is a huge creature. And I, and I mean that us? I mean that in a very literal sense, huge as in, you know, 15 to 20 feet tall. I mean it's it's knocking over trees as it walks. So it has to be towards us? quite large. And yes, the sound is getting increasingly louder as it approaches. All right. I don't see it yet, so I could um, cast us a rope trick real quick. Oh, Can you see it now? I think so. Is it bad? Oh, uh, the, tr the trees. Are... Can I do I have to do a perception check to see what those are? 
Yeah. I would imagine right, you could see what they are. Yeah, they're There's trees. trees. There's trees coming out of uh, uh, hello, trees? I don't know, maybe the trees. I wake up the other people. Yeah, hello! Oh, they talk back? They do talk back. They answer you in common. It, the tree. Uh, hello, uh... What the just, hell's going on, guys? got down on this floor. How, 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 how are you talking? That's very uh, odd. How, we how will ask the questions here. Okay. Why have you come to this sacred grove? We're exploring the Undermount. This is the next floor. We came here. We're going through. And what do you intend to do in the Willow Wood? Um, I don't know. We're just exploring. We're looking around. We're not really. I mean, we're not trying to kill everything. If that's what you're asking. You are peaceful passengers. Yeah. If nothing's mean to us, we're not mean to it. That's how it works. You seem like nice people. Can we be your friends? If it is shelter and safe passage that you seek. Then you are welcome within the Willow Wood. We befriended this bear over here. Uh, the the trees, not having eyes or any other defining features, you know, they just kind of twist, and you get the impression they're looking in that direction, but they're really not. Um, they they begin to wander away. If you would like, you can come and meet Mrs. Willow. There's she her. invites you to her presence. So we follow can, them now? Can we come in a couple hours after we've rested? They they just they're walking away. We won't follow them. There's a lady tree. Good talk, we'll see you out there. Alright, so... I say we finish our rest. We gotta rest. Yeah, finish y'all's rest, I'll, I'll stay up for the rest of the watch. Alright. Uh, you, the rest of the night is uneventful. You're able to complete your long rest. When you wake up in the morning, the bear is kind of, uh, pawing at Dakert's pouch, waiting for the old man to wake up and feed it. Are we waking up? Yeah. yeah. I'll wake up and hand him some more food. Alright, he starts to eat it, you know, contentedly. And then I, I pet him and grab, gather my things. Can we <laughs> see the path that the trees went back? You said they were crashing through the trees on the way here. The the forest is so thick and dense. There are felled trees everywhere. It it doesn't make much of an indication one way or the other. Okay. Thank you. Right ask. Thank you. Alright, do we wanna try and make our way towards the direction they went? I mean I know they went west and then it looked like they went south. Right. And track them for sure. Yeah. I mean, you, it was just one of your favorite terrains. Uh-huh. I'm going to track them down. Wait, why do you have to ask it like that? You just because I'm a ranger and the forest has to be one of my favorite terrains? Well, not all rangers have forests as a terrain. Yeah. yeah. Terrain. Just because my favorite terrains are forests and mountains doesn't mean anything, okay? Yeah, no, it doesn't mean anything. I didn't expect, I didn't expect it to. So I asked you before I assumed it. Hey, where Walk. do we get the bear? Uh. It walks that up to Wolf. Friendly or what? Uh, I don't know. Almost in response to you asking that question, it walks up to you and starts kind of like headbutting your hand, asking Big Pet. Oh, what's up, buddy? 
His name is Gog. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if that was a good choice. <laughs> In the arms of the angel. Uh, 94 nat zeros coming in for Sash. <laughs> Look, this is a new Gog, okay? He won't betray us. Oh, uh, no, no, no. There, we, there you go, Sash. Uh, we were naming our new friend in honor of our old one. Right? Exactly, yeah. because we respected him. It's Until gone. he went evil and tried to kill us. <laughs> Okay. It is a, a man bear, right? Back? If you want it to be. <laughs> a man bear? Like it's a male bear. I've not had a chance to lift the skirt, as they say. Whatever, it's Nugog. This fucking bear dies, I'm gonna kill you, Sashk. <laughs> <laughs> As long as I'm not the one who deals the death blow, I'm okay with it. I I lift the skirt. Is it a, a male or female bear? It is a non-binary bear, you asshole. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a male. It doesn't want to tell me, and it doesn't <laughs> know. So we'll leave it at that. All right, let's go track those trees. Also, uh, New Gog has a net twenty. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> Shall we depart? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's track down those trees. I'm ready. Which way did they go? Around the corner? Oh, or, like, I don't know. You didn't we watch them walk away? They went to the west. I'm really good at tracking. Okay. In the forest. As you reach here... Somewhere. Somewhere. On one of these pages, I have notes. Um, as you reach here, you can see there is a carved wooden sign that has the same thing written in common, draconic, elvish, and dwarvish. Uh, and it simply says, Behold Willow's Wood. Harm not, lest ye be harmed. That would have been good to know last night. Oh, crap. I hope when I stabbed the ground it didn't think I was harming it. Maybe that's why the trees came after us. As you uh, approach, you can see that the trees here um they are a little peculiar they're almost twice as wide as any other that you've seen in your life uh, and they grow as tall as the eye can see all of the plant life here seems to be abnormally large and overgrown Um, I say we carry on carefully. Yes, let's. Yeah. I think. Let's do that. I think my character think? might be familiar with the spell. Could I get a check to see right, if I'm walk this ahead. area is under the effect of plant growth? It is not a plant growth. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, whatever the magic is that has sustained this underground forest, it is uh, well beyond your comprehension. Because you're a dummy. For the viewers at home, it's uh, Halaster used a wish to sustain this ecosystem. Is harmed written like that? What? Hmm? Yes, that's how it's actually written on the sign. Okay. I didn't, like, I type things, I just copy and paste. <laughs> Double check. As you uh, as you approach, something very peculiar happens. Remember that up above the canopy of the trees is, is a uh, you can see the sky and the sun and clouds. Um, almost instantly, it's like 
the the sky speeds up quickly hurrying from early morning to late evening cascading uh you know brilliant pinks and oranges across the sky as it is illuminated by the dusk is it not casting light it is casting light now uh there's no light source here let me fix that because there totally is light source i.e the sun Oh, let's just go with that. Make it nice and nice and uh, illuminated for. Oh. Yeah, sun's out. Is the sun that red ball? That's supposed to be on a different layer. <laughs> but you know, screw it. I'm just not sure if I'm supposed to know if the ball is real or not. That's all. Exactly. I was about to ask. What did we just see? We I saw the another sun. eyeball. Do we have to fight Gog again? Like there. Now it's on the lighting layer, you bitches. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, up ahead, in the brightly illuminated uh, grove, what you see is the sunlight penetrates the dense canopy of this old forest and many of the trees here are covered with moss you can see there is a single uh, headstone in the center of this grove and it is illuminated by a single ray of light that seems to fall onto the grave uh, perfectly illuminating it <clears throat> Check that out. Yeah. All right, I guess we'll go check that out. Seems interesting. Can you ping on the map where it is? It's like dead center. Well, I guess we'll make our way over there. Uh, as you approach, you notice that the grove kind of spreads out from here. There is a patch of, of dead grass surrounding the grave. And it looks like whatever magic has sustained the rest of the forest has no effect surrounding this single headstone. Okay. As you uh, get close enough to read the inscription, you see uh, marked in common, it reads, here lies Chrisan, human friend and companion. The top of the gravestone is carved in the shape of a rose. Hmm. And uh, Xavier, as you approach, you can hear a voice whispering to you in common. Take my wand. Use it to destroy the elf witch. Somebody wants me to take their wand and destroy the elf, which I don't, I don't really understand. Do you even use wand? Yes, I can use wands, but I don't... I don't know who the elf witch is. Is there any other information? Like, maybe a sign? No, I'm afraid not. There's just some voice telling me to take the wand and use... Does anybody see a, something that looks like a wand around here? I don't know. Do I? Probably not with that. Nope. But I don't think an archon check will protect it, probably. Uh, you guys, you don't need to roll a perception. You can't see a one. Can I maybe do an archon check to see if I can figure out what's talking to me? Do we hear the voice, or just just he hear the voice? Just he heard the voice at first, but now Wolf, having moved closer, can also hear it when next it speaks and says, Inside. I don't know. Inside I don't, what? I don't think, I think he wants me to dig up the grave. I don't, 
I'm not on board with that. I don't like desecrating graves. Really? Yeah. Really. <laughs> what about that grave from before? Coffin that you opened and then you let the vampire get away. That wasn't a grave. That was a coffin. That's a different thing. How? This is a body in the ground. Manual labor. There was a body in the coffin. No, there was dirt in the coffin. How are we supposed to know there was a vampire in there? You know there was a vampire in there before we. There was a vampire in there after. We... After, after doesn't make any doesn't make a difference. Probably know there's a vampire in this one too. We don't know. That's why I don't want to open it. I don't know what's down there. I don't want to desecrate a grave. Yeah, I'd rather not either. Whatever's here should should rest. Why won't you help me? If you want to dig it up, do it by all means. Dig it up. I don't. What do I want? Want for? I'm good. Why oh, won't you, you help me? You're gonna leave the magic wand there. Uh, I can't hear you. Can't hear you back there. Uh, so you're gonna okay. leave the fucking wands here? Are both of our <laughs> casters are leaving a wand? We can't hear you. You're so far away. But also those things for old initiative, so we probably should too. Yeah, yeah. You're going to leave the wand here? Well, I don't really feel like desecrating a grave. I mean, why? We've been killing old folks and kids the whole time. Might as well. I have standards. <laughs> as you guys, we're in a forest with tons of trees that... that are a lot bigger than us. As you guys state that you're not going to. Uh... To dig up the grave, you see this ball of light materialize over the gravestone, and it hovers over, and it kind of just reaches out towards Xavier. Uh, not with like an arm, like it, it's just this floating ball of light. But you can feel a bolt of lightning emanate from the thing and miss. And we should talk to this thing. It might not be hostile. Well, it tried to sh shock me, I guess. I wouldn't know that. Yeah, we but... Yeah, of lightning. We don't know. It could be friendly. Well, uh, it's your turn. What would you like to do? I'm gonna shoot it. What I do? <laughs> we, we should talk to it. No, let's shoot it. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot it. Never mind. Yeah. Does a 21 hit? It does. Does it look like it took any damage from the hit? It did. Okay, well, let's do one more for good measure. Uh, that missed. Really? Oh. Oh, man! Uh, that's much. Yikes. Maybe it's Xavier? Yeah, it tried to shock me. I am not on board with that. So I will need to go. We need a deck save. It saves, but that's crazy. That's my turn. Alright, how about you, Wolf? Can I try it? Talking to it? Sure. We don't really want to hurt you here. Why would you antagonize us and cause us to fight you? Why won't you help me? Because we can't follow you blindly. Inside, help you what? take my wand and destroy the witch. That's all. It just gonna keep repeating everything it said before. Sounds like a call to action. So where is the witch? It 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 can only repeat what it's already said. Uh, would you like to take an action, Wolf? Or you don't have to. Um. No, I would not. I'm already a duck. And at the end of my turns, look to Dooski for 
what he wants to do. Well, we're already battling it, right? So. I guess. I'm going to move over there. Is it my turn? Uh, or is it its turn? No, it's. it looks like it's its turn. Did you roll initiative? E. My tracker's bugged. I can't actually see you in the there tracker. There we go. Uh, so I guess it would be your turn. I'm in there now. It should be next. Here, let's get you okay. over. There we go. Decker Part of the website's being real any... funky with me. I can barely yeah. move the map around, so it's not registering. Uh, okay. So I'm going to move here. No like... fog of war anymore? Oh, yeah, I think I rolled wrong. Right, you can take a little. Um, I'm gonna swing again. And divine. Oh no, no, no! I'm not gonna rage. Uh, did That's you fine. did you reckless? No. And then I both... just was on advantage. You can take the low on both miss. Yeah. Uh, both miss. Okay. I think Ken should be in there somewhere. <laughs> Ken, why don't you go ahead and take a turn? Yeah, I should be at 10. So it's just repeating the same thing over and yeah. over. Why won't you help me? Take the wand. Destroy the witch inside. I move hey, on. And I start digging. Okay, so you're going to spend your action digging into the grave. Yeah, underneath it. All right. Uh, it'll take you more than one round to get there, but you will just keep that in mind. All right, next is Sashk. I think you skipped the willow. Yes. I did skip. Oh, well. She got shocked you again. All right. Uh, yes. And then Sashk. So, uh, are we gonna kill it, then take its wand? So, do we believe that it's it's a grave? Because if, if, if this thing is what's dead in there, then it's giving us permission to desecrate its grave. You know, I say as I shoot an arrow at it. And miss? And a second arrow. And miss? And I just wallow in the willow forest. The savior? <coughs> wow, that's pretty crazy. Well, I mean, you saw the the modifier. I'm surprised you tried it again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm given. I'm. I'm. I'm... Close combat. I can either attack at disadvantage or I can sacred flame. Uh, wolf. Well, it's, wait. Still attacking with disadvantage. That's two, two tries rather than one. Statistically, you would have a better chance. With anyway, uh, wolf. What crazy crap should you eat at them? Something, uh, something nature themed. Right now, they're in a big forest grove. And there's awakened trees and uh, other stuff. You're still there? Yeah. It's uh, it's your turn. Hey, right, um, is there a way for me to check if this thing's benevolent or not? Uh, well, I mean, obviously it's come and attacked us, so. Holy, uh, that is a loaded, is it benevolent? No, I mean, it's attacking. Is it being truthful? Nah, it believes it's telling the truth, but it is also a malicious spirit, so who knows, right? No, get out of here. All right, Ooh, enough shit. of this. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. He tears out the uh, star from the robe and hurls it at the Will-O-Wisp, and it dissipates into air. Ending the combat. Did you re-roll at the end of the long rest for that? Yeah, that's what the D6 was at the beginning of combat. Cool. All right. All right. Uh, Ken, as you dig into the grave, you find a human skeleton. Uh, and the human skeleton is wearing, you know, some leather armor that has long since decayed. But clutched in his hand is a wand. I'm not going to touch the wand. It's probably but I am going to look at everyone. Wait. <laughs> You're new to the party. It's kind of your turn to touch the wand. The wand is... Yeah, pretty much second that. <laughs> I, uh, I found the wand that that thing was talking about. I look at the wand. It's a uh, light gray uh, wooden construction, and it seems to have a silver filigree that goes around the length of the wand. And at the tip of the wand, there is just this little red orb. Should I grab the wand? I mean, if anyone's going to, it's going to be you. I don't know if you have any magic spell or curse or anything without touching it. Is there anything I can roll to see if this is a terrible idea? In order to try and learn what the what properties the item has, you'd have to cast Identify. <laughs> or Tune to it, which you need a short rest. We have a stone for that. Uh, or I'd you like can use, use the, the, yeah, the Stone of Knowledge. There we go. Which... I'm using the Stone of Knowledge. <laughs> Wolf, did you roll to recover stars? He did. Yeah. We just had that conversation. Yeah, we did. Talk about that like five minutes ago. The stone yeah. reveals it is a wand of fireballs. Oh, that's not something I can use. You guys have fun with that. Guess I have to take it. Is it cursed? Uh, it doesn't appear. Remember, identify all doesn't always reveal when an item is cursed. So follow up. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> now spellcast. I have spell casting. Does that make me a spellcaster? Yep. Yeah, literally anyone can attune to it except for Dusky. Okay. I don't actually know what I'm attuned to. Uh, you should probably figure that out. <laughs> I wish. Pretty sure. Because he's got his armor, his robe, and I think Frost something? Frost Brand is an attunement. His ring is. The ring of evasion. Oh, right. Uh, the robe. Hey, Which is Chase, thank you for the, the sub. Man, appreciate you. Welcome armor. to the family. And my armor, yeah. As far as. I'm only armor. attuned to, uh,. Rather pack keeper, that's it. I'm attuned to my armor, my bow, and my ring. Okay, so you're full. What's your I'm armor? My armor. I have uh, fire resistant armor. I don't know if it's oh. requires two men or not. Uh, Just out of leather armor? Of fire resistance? I I believe resistance armor give requires two men. I think you're right. Yes. Yeah. So I think Dusky has. Well. Spell, he's not a spellcaster. So it's either Dackard or Xavier. And and Dackard has already made a point that he doesn't want to hurl fireballs. Not very yes, not very druidy. Yeah, I'll put it online, that's fine. I'll tune to it next short rest. Yeah, I'm not very happy about that. <laughs> like, oh man, I only get two spell slots, but I get six fireballs a day. Bam bam! Yeah, I just wish I could use my save and not the ones. 
No, it's got there's got to be a balance somewhere, right? Wait, are you not attuned to Frostbrand? You can still use it, but you don't get the frost damage because you're not you're not attuned to it. Well, it says on my sheet it says I'm not attuned. I'm attuned to the Robo Stars, the Ring of Evasion, and yeah, I'm a, my armor, correct? The plus one. No, you have a plus one shield that doesn't require attunement. Well, I was looking. He's got some fancy armor. Armor. So. See, I don't remember. You guys have had so many. Adamantamine armor, is that a thing? Adam Adamantian armor doesn't require attunement. Oh, well he definitely has that. So he can't be crit. That's probably important information to remember, right? Right. <laughs> well, Wait, you can't get crit. Can't be crit? No, you have adamantine armor. You cannot be crit. Yeah, and adamantine armor is not attunement. So I think you are okay. still attuned because it's it's robe, it's ring, and then Frostbrand? Yeah. Wait, doesn't he have a staff or some shit that gives him bonus magic? Oh, uh, that's right. That's why he's not attuned to the Frostbrand. Because he has a Wand of the War Mage. Plus two. That. That garbage. Hey, what the fuck is a staff of striking? It's a Wait, it's a melee that's weapon. my my has my wand been actually adding to my fucking spell casts? <laughs> uh everything not magic missile. Magic uh, missile right. can't miss so Right. Well no, they, it would add to the damage. But that's from the uh from the item. Alright, so now, now it all makes sense. Alright. I'll use my mace from now on. I don't see the wand in our list of things. Well, maybe I'm it's because it was just it's added cool. to his sheet. Oh, okay. Alright, anywho. So, wand. Doesn't matter. Can't attune to it at this moment, because rest is needed. So, yeah. onward? Question mark? Do you want to put, you want to put it on my sheet and I'll just unattip it? You can't put it on your sheet? Oh, yeah, sorry. Derp. Fuck, man. I would like to look for track of those trees. South! That came visited us in the night. South. And I say we should go south. Before we really recover the body back up. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. We still have to Where's travel the Druid? somewhat slowly. Uh, I don't know. Just, just head on down until you get to the two uh, walls. Then I'll give you the next description while I try to find the thing. Let's stop here. Got it. Or wherever here. Yeah, you got it. With Lisk? Where is she? She's supposed to be down there in the grove. There's him. Just give me one second. I lost the thing I was supposed to. Just somewhere on the map. Perfect. Tree, tree. Oak, oak, tree. Screw it. I'll just place it later. Doesn't matter. Uh, so as you walk forward. Oh dear. As you walk forward. What you find are a couple stone walls to the left and to the right and uh, on the right you can't quite see over them uh, as the the view above the wall is heavily obscured by a thick canopy of trees that are also covered in a dense thicket of spider webs and then to so no spider webs yes then to the west, um, it appears to be like a portcullis 
in the front of a guardhouse. And uh, the portcullis is 15 feet high. It's embedded in the stone wall at the mouth of a long tunnel. And where the hell is this bitch? Inner forest. Trees. Servants of the Archer. Number six uh, is Willow's Town. Like Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. She hiding. Is she hiding in there? Hey, where's New Gog? I don't know. Where is it? He's probably lagging behind because I haven't been uh, dragging him. Because, you know. When I get close to the Portcullis. 6A, Willow's Throne Room. I can see through it. Do I see anything eventually? Yeah, I told you. A 15 foot hallway. Six. Okay. That's it. It's just a big hallway on the opposite side of the wall. Are we still following the path of the trees? Yep. Ever south. Guys, am I crazy well, I here? The path Where the is six A? I say so. Da. I said we go. No, that's four C. Four C. Four three three. Going south. Oh. Yep. Three. Two. Nine. Just, uh, you know, don't mind me. I'm legit having a, a nervous breakdown. What? There's, there's a location on the map that I can't find. Because there's six. Uh, are we going there's the right seven. Way? There's five. Where in the holy fuck is 6A? No. No, that's not. Because that is 2E. <laughs> Why is that... Well, who the hell came up with the naming convention? Oh, there it is. Wait, no, I H J K. Looking for ah, there. Look, it's in the way. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Ah, ah. All right, cool. Yes, heading to the south. Uh, you can see a oh. large stone tower uh, that looms off to the southwest. And there's a broken wall here where it seems that what was once a, a large stone colonnade has been overgrown by trees and roots and collapsed in several portions. What do you guys like to do? Well, what are we doing, guys? Looking for more tree track. South! Trying to find the. Oh, the there are trees ahead. Well, that's mm. what we wanted, isn't it? Uh, oh, there, there we are. are. I go up oh. and say, hello, friends. As a lot of trees. There's a lot of trees. And as you approach a couple, uh, you can see there are elk here as well. And they all kind of turn and look at you with an intelligence that is much more than uh, what would be natural. Arcana check? You broke up there. What was that? I mean, intelligence much more than what? What would be natural for some uh, bestial animals? And as you move forward, you can go ahead and roll your Arcana check. Uh, you can't tell shit. Yep. But looking around the floor of the grove here, you can see that the forest is strewn with rusty weapons, burnt torch stubs, empty bottles, and other worthless items left behind by previous adventurers. Maybe this is a bad idea. And mm. hanging from the trees, made from twigs, feathers, and tattered bits of cloth, they look like crude dolls. This definitely seems like it was a bad idea. <laughs> the elk walks up to you. Hello. Elk. Ooh. 
What are you doing here? Trees told us to come meet Willow. Miss Willow? Somebody Willow. Yes, Willow. You'll find her over there. And he kind of points with his antlers towards the tower. Oh, cool. Thank you. And then I start walking towards the tower. It kind of starts following behind. Getting right up in Sasha's face. Hey. Do you Hello, have, friend. Do you have anything to eat? I've got some rations, but I can't vouch for how tasty it is. Rations? It's, uh, there's when you take a bunch of different foods and you mash them all together and put them in a bag for later. That sounds tasty. Can I have some? Sure, and I give him each a ration. He, he starts licking it from your hand, but if you've ever been to a petting zoo, it's not like he just lick. It's more like, <laughs> it's like tongue is like all over your hand. There's this thick webbing of mucus that kind of connects your fingers as he just goes nuts like eating it out of your palm. Sasha, you made a new friend? I'm gonna go meet Willow now. Okay, bye-bye. And I fly away. Wait. They, you see that there are several elk now that are kind of like following behind the party. Let's just throw rash. <laughs> <laughs> And keep flying away. Do you get out of here? my friends. Alright, uh, as you approach, you can see that the front of the tower is carved to look like a squat stone tree with twisted stony bows that are protruding from the, from the walls. And as you open the doors to the base of the tower, you can see that the inside uh, is very much decorated in the same. It looks like there are stone tree branches and limbs that make this thick interconnecting weave around the inside of the tower. And sitting all around them are giant bats, 13 in total, that have their wings tightly wrapped around their bodies. I, I guess we open the door. I, I don't... Hello? I kind of knock on the, the door bats. Kind of look in your direction as you call out. Some of them flapping their wings in protest at your noise. Uh, okay. I guess I we seek to... audience with <laughs> Willow, <laughs> and they start flapping. Willow, Willow. Miss Willow, look at Miss Willow. The more you talk, the more agitated the bats become. <laughs> let me well, I guess let me spell it out for you. <laughs> I don't know. That's where we're thing? supposed to be, right? <laughs> they said, she, do we need to walk through here without disturbing these things? <laughs> bats don't like noise. <laughs> what the fuck? Thank you, Ranger, for uh, letting us know. Maybe we, we don't make them angry. Right, maybe walk through silently to see if we can find Willow. If they were going to name him, it would have been Elk and John. Okay. So, when we opened the door before, did we notice any stairs or anything? Yes, or, there is uh, a, a set of stairs that lead up to the next level. Okay, let's quietly make our way there. Nobody move. <laughs> oh, thank you. There we go. Should be about right. Okay. Uh, Alright, so you walk up the stairs. 
there's a set of double doors to the south of you and uh, it should be brightly lit if it's not already yep there's light sources I guess do we want to knock on the door before we go in remember what happened last time you knocked on a door no it was like 45 seconds ago we were downstairs and you angered like a horde of bats they didn't attack us. I didn't anger them. They were just agitated. But the door was already open. That's polite habit. See, you knock on someone's door before you enter their domicile. That way they don't attack you. Uh, maybe you're new to... Who is stomping? City words. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and knock on the door. You may enter. All right. Uh, open the door. As you open the door, um, what you can see is that dead leaves and twigs cover the dusty floor. The room has a vaulted ceiling 20 feet high, and there are stone pillars carved to look like trees that support the, the 10 foot high stone balcony that runs along the north, east, and south, which is what these dotted lines represent. There's a balcony up there. From the floor above. Uh, the tree stone branches serve as the balcony's railings, and as you walk in, you can see a woman standing on in front of you, and she has a creature with her. It looks like a large panther with several extra limbs, some of which seem to be large teeth-filled tentacles that come out roughly behind its shoulder blades. That's a neat looking pet you got there. As uh, you say this, she doesn't respond, but a large tree moves forward, and with one of its limbs, it kind of reaches down and gestures for you to enter the room. Enter the what? Cut off. Enter your... What do you think I said? I don't know. Might as well just stand here. So she looks at you. Enter. Yes, the room. Go in the room. <laughs> okay. Is she is she on a throne? Do I need to be on the other side of her? Yes. It is a large Where? throne carved out of crystal. Fuck's sake, maybe. Let me finish. Um, as you enter, you can notice a few peculiar things about her appearance. In addition to the large crystal throne that she sits on, you can also see that she has a golden key on a string around her neck. And this crystal throne seems to be made out of a uh, similarly golden colored crystal. And it has eyes carved into it on the front, back, and sides. We met your trees in the forest, and they said we needed to meet you. So we rested up a little bit and then made our way here. You needed to meet with me? I yeah, the, the had tree. my trees extend an invitation of welcome but there is no need for us to meet i was simply offering you a place to sleep out of the elements as your kind is most likely to want well, that was very kind of you uh okay as she talks you can see that her eyes are brilliantly green like emeralds and she seems to have several butterflies nesting in her hair um, if I if I may ask, place exists here. Uh, well, it is a long story. It's not one that I am loath to tell. If you'd like to hear it, uh, 
Uh, I've got time. It's up to the others in my party. Yeah. Please, yeah, do. please, please do. Well, it was a long, long time ago. Centuries by your human standards. I fell in love. He was a wizard. Uh, a man named Yanark. And Yanark came to this place to work under another powerful sorcerer. A man named Halister. Who I'm sure if you've come this far, you're familiar with already. <clears throat> I would returned with Yanark to the Undermountain, but my happiness quickly faded when the dark, cold space underground proved to be too far removed from the woods that I remember being home. I was... I was determined to leave. I paste it so you can follow along. my love he complained and Hallister devised a plan to keep me here in the undermountain he used several wish spells to create a magical forest just for me but even this gift wasn't enough it was just a a false uh, a false trade it wasn't a true forest it wasn't the land the sun the sky so I resolved to lead Yanark forbade me from ever returning to the surface, and he tried to stop me with violence. Our relationship soured, and a volley of spells on both sides were spent, and eventually my beloved Yanark lay dead by my hand. I, I couldn't bear to leave him any more. If I would have just stayed in the first place, then he would still be here with me. If I had just accepted this gift, then maybe things could have been different. So, in accordance with Yanark's wishes, I stay here in this magical forest. I am its keeper. Very nice try. This is a wonderful place. The, the thing with the sun and the sky is quite amazing. It is extraordinary, isn't it? There is a uh, a stone sundial that I keep here in my tower. I can manipulate it to change it to any time of day that I would like, or if even I were to fancy another season, I can change that at my whim. It is really nothing more than a lucery magic, but it brings me comfort sometimes. I most prefer the falls, the autumns with the rich orange and yellow colors among the trees. And as she says this, she kind of reaches her hand upwards, pointing towards the ceiling, and she makes a turning motion with her hand. And you can see the sun uh, in the sky through the windows, setting and raising and setting and raising thousands of times per second and the trees begin to wither as it turns from the vibrant green of summer to the uh, many-hued autumn that she is just referencing. Wow, that's very, very nice. Are you patronizing me? No, I think that's quite amazing. I... I, I've told you already, it is but a trick. Nothing is more amazing than the sights to be held upon the surface. Well, is there anything we can do for you while we're here? mind the sole tenet that I have given to all who come here. You shall harm none. If you cannot do that, you will face all of my wrath. And as she says this, the uh, 
the creature standing in front of her bares his teeth and growls. And what's this cute fellow's name? I am Chrisan, and you will address me as such, human. Well, you're aggressive. So, is this entire level, this magical place, does your boundaries end once we go down or prior to that? It is all of the willow wood is my domain there are several several areas that uh, I have conceded to others but even then they know not to oppose my rule for example I'm sure you saw the uh, the spindly forest to the north Yes. There is a tribe of edder caps and giant spiders that live there. Even though they may sometimes hunt the creatures of the forest, they know not to attack any any adventurers or people that wander through. They kill and eat out of necessity, and that is also a way of nature. But to attack another sentient creature, now that would be forbidden. And even they, with their animalistic intelligence, know better than to cross this sacred rule of this grove. Sounds like paradise. <laughs> it may be true that we have food aplenty and an endless supply of water, that we can live simple lives that are enriched with full bellies, but it is all a lie everything here is just an illusion artificially created by Hallister and his magics but don't get me wrong I am grateful to the wizard for providing me with such a wondrous home and for keeping the willow wood alive with his magic but he is to blame for your narc's death not I yet I can't help but feel pity for the Mad Mage, as he, just like I, appear to be trapped in a prison of their own making. Okay, uh, we're trying to get down further into the, this dungeon. Do you know the way down to the next floor? I do. If you would like to to head to the next level of the un, of the mountain, then it is simple. You simply head south from my tower, and there used to be a much more treacherous path, but some recent events have have made the next level much more accessible. Tell me, do you know what an umber hulk is? Uh, can I do a history check to see if I know it? Sure. Ooh, you do. So what do you say? Likes to dig tunnels, right? That is correct. They like to dig tunnels. And uh, as they are wont to do, uh, they've been quite active in this level and the next. And because of their tunnels, if you travel through them, you are able to reach the next level quite easily and with little effort. I would urge you to be cautious, however, because beyond my domain lies the Underdark. And the next level of the mountain is under the control of a very nasty tribe of Durgar. The rest of these guys in the party have had some experience with Dark around the past, so I'm going to rely on them. But uh, how do we get to the tunnel to the Ember, uh, the Ember hole? We can go 
Directly south of this tower, you will find. Oh, I apologize, I apologize. Uh, if we need to come back to this area and rest, we have your oh. Certainly. All are welcome within my domain. Does anybody else have any questions? No, I'm okay. She's an elf, right? She is an elf. A moon elf, to be specific. Cool. I I'm not saying this out loud in character. This is out of character question. I'm just going to assume that the grave we desecrated was her lover. Yep. Probably would be a good idea not to mention. Yeah. I agree. I feel like she would know. Maybe she does. We didn't ask her about that world wisp, did we? You can ask her. Or you could not ask her, that's okay too. Yeah, but that wouldn't be any fun. What do you know about an aggressive little will o wisp? <laughs> they, uh, rather wanted us to use a wand to destroy some elfy lady. Ah. Yes. It seems that my love has turned bitter over the many centuries since he's died. And tell me, what did you do? It appears I found his remains restfully peace sing out in the dirt with a wand. You... You dug up his grave? He asked us to. I understand. And I, I... he was attacking us at the same time, so I felt it was... An intelligent move to not get attacked anymore. I bear you no ill will. It, it is okay. There is an, an ancient ritual that has been passed down among our, our druidic circles for many years. Maybe you know it, old one. She, she reaches, she goes over and she picks up it's a brown satchel and it's about the size of say a bowling ball right she brings it over mm -hmm. to you would I be familiar with this uh, when you look inside the bag it's full of salt if if you recovered an object that belonged to my beloved will you please give him rest Salt his body, burn the remains along with his possessions. Give him peace after these many years. I think we can do that. All right. Yeah. Thank that, you. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea to me. I, I will be forever grateful for your service. I'm afraid, though, I, I I don't have anything to offer you in return. I am living a simple life. But I can say that if you do this, you will always have a place to rest and food to fill your, your pockets and belly, and I will help you in any other way I can. Okay. That seems fair. That seems fair. Okay. Anybody got anything else? No, I seem to be okay.
All right. Well, if uh, everybody's done talking with Willow, she waves goodbye and starts to head to the top of the tower. Okay. I say we get to the next floor. To the next floor? Oh, we well, nice. got salt and burn the body. Can we go run through that real fast and go downstairs? Wait, what are we doing? Burning the body of, of, of in the grave. Yeah, that guy we desecrated, that's her husband, lover thing that she murdered. <laughs> she murdered? Uh, better idea. Why don't we just get the fuck out of here? <laughs> oh, I we mean, told her we could do it. But she asked nicely and we're honorable now. Are we? <laughs> we're honorable now. <laughs> Alrighty. Wolf's gonna go urinate on the uh, corpse, and my my only concern is we killed that thing. We weren't supposed to harm anything. Any anybody know if that thing us. was included? Harm not, lest lest ye be harmed. We were attacked. We defended ourselves. It's okay. She was okay with that. She just wants us to burn the body. Alrighty. It does seem awful sketchy, doesn't it? Why do I feel this, uh, this shit's gonna go sideways? I don't know. Dude, it's, it's like impossible for me to move my token. This little website is still laggy. I don't know what's going on with it. Yeah, my shit started lagging out like a mother truck or two. Like... I'm moving you guys. Thank you. Um, let me see if I can change something. You guys are probably gonna lose vision here for a second. Hey, hey, thanks for the biddies, man. Appreciate that. That means a whole lot. We made our bits goal for the month. I was getting a little uh, scared there for a minute. So let's... <laughs> Hooray! What the hell did you do to me? I'm so pretty. Uh... <laughs> All right. And for those of you that don't know, whenever we meet the bit goal uh, for the month, then within the next couple days i'm going to be posting a giveaway in the discord and on twitter so if you haven't already make sure you join us in the discord or at the very least follow me on twitter or and or facebook so that you can get involved in that thank you guys all of you so much for the support i really appreciate it and uh let's keep it going all right all right um sorry twitch things so, everybody should be dark. I'm going to bring your vision back. See a little square. Can you interact with your token now? Yeah, I can move my guy. I was talking specifically. Dude, he's the one that's been struggling. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me try again. Um, Do you use uh, Chrome or better. Firefox? or Chrome. Do you have um, hardware literally. acceleration enabled? Oh, I don't know. I, I think uh, by spinning. default it is, but if it's not, you want it to be. Because Chrome's already a resource hog, and especially when you have big maps like this, it can be kind of laggy. Oh, that's right, business that's daddy. Baby's acting up again. <laughs> Was she on about there? Cause I can't, I can't talk bad about uh, Roll Twenty. <laughs> I don't want Business what? Daddy to disown me. <laughs> talking, who, what? 
Roll, roll 20 is fantastic. Exactly. Here, there's right, the spirit. It's, the <laughs> it's a wonderful platform that we recommend highly to all of our friends and family. All right. Anywho, uh, we don't have to move all of our tokens and stuff. Let's just go through the motions. You guys are heading back up north to the to the uh, grotto. Turned it on. Yeah. And oh, then. Oh, well, that's marginally better. Okay. Look at the at the very least, most of this floor is non-combat, so we can just scoot right past it. And then hopefully the next floor is better. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so you guys walk up to the grave. And then... The ritual to... Destroy the body? I uncover the corpse again. Alright. Still there. Still very ugly. How attached to that wand are you? We can put it in there if we want. Take the wand and throw it in. Sure. Did you guys say out loud what the wand was? Not to her. But I mean to us. Yeah, yeah. Wolf yeah. explained to all of us what it was. How do you think that little explodey thing down there is going to handle being lit on fire? Oh. Well, from my experience, Start magical you, items seem mostly unaffected by flame. So I expect it to survive the flame. So do we want to even try and burn it? Eh. If it burns, then that means some, there was a reason why it should burn. Is there anybody here that can set a fire from a great distance? So I don't, like, I mean, become one with this ground. I'll start pouring the salt in. I do not have a way of casting a fire. I mean, we could torch it. I don't do it. We can pour water on it once it burns. I don't want to set a forest. So, salting the corpse, and then stepping back. Hey, what's Pretty the candle cool. invocation do? Let's. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it might yep, just it dumb requires shit. attunement. Oh. So then, uh, light a torch and put it in there. Yeah. Does that solve the problem? Uh, yep, it starts to burn. Is the wand in there too? Yes. Mm -hmm. You hear a faint popping sound. And then a, a burst of light emanates forward from... You guys want to make some deck saves? How many do you want? Just one. Wow. All right, everyone except Xavier passed. I'm gonna do mine. Oh, I don't know why I thought you already did. <laughs> okay, everyone except Xavier and Dusky passed. So, this is just from, uh, after throwing, after burning the corpse, there's a, a cry as uh, the corpse sits up briefly and screams an unearthly wail. Then there's a flash of light and a, a burst of explosion as a massive fireball erupts from the corpse. Uh, Xavier Dusky take 35 fire. Everybody else will take 17. Then I'll take half of that. Because you're fire resistant. Uh, yep. 
Yeah. I rolled like absolute Same shit. Eight. That is 12d6. I got 35. 35. That's a 7th level fireball right there. Yeah. But after the fire clears, uh, you can see that the forest immediately starts to uh, kind of crawl and, and repair itself. And there seems to be nothing remaining of the corpse in the grave. Because he freaking exploded. How much? Uh, you take 35. 35, you said? Yep. All right. Mission accomplished. Now what? Actually, uh, no, go ahead. You answer. What were you going to say? Uh, we could rest one more time before we go downstairs just so we don't... Absolutely could. Yeah, let's make our way to the tunnel and then right outside the tunnel. Oh, we could do it right here, apparently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, this this entire floor is uh, safe unless somebody wants to make an enemy of the druid. Yeah, let's take a quick long rest and then make our way back down. All right, yeah. So go ahead. You can take a long rest. There's no reason to say you can't. You're not in a uh, a hurry. There's no like time constraints. So I know it's only ten o'clock, but how about we call it here mm -hmm. so there's a clear separation between this floor and next floor. Okay. And then uh, let's calculate right. experience. I know there's a ton of it. So we just bad run that floor. You just what? Speed ran it. Uh, no, that's kind of. Did a speed run on the floor. That's kind of how it goes. All right. So I know Unless that the only the combat board. was with the will. Where does that put us on the leaderboards? But uh, you actually, it, it's specific to this floor. It even says uh, any of the creatures that you encounter and deal with in in any way will still award you with experience. So let's see. We had a will o wisp. A black bear, two, three, four awakened trees, the druid, and the displacer beast. You know, and a bunch of bats, but they're like nothing, so I'm not even gonna count them. Hold up, I would like to say thank you, Sashk, for not killing that bear. <laughs> yeah, that would have made this entire floor a lot different. Uh, what about didn't we meet the the dog or? I already, I already said that. Oh, okay, um, you cut in and out. I wasn't. No, you cut it in and out. I am. Um... It didn't attack, so I didn't attack. So it was times 13? Yeah, I did say 13. Let's go 13 times 50. Oh god, she's way down there. Chrisan. And Willow. Oh, she's over there on the other screen. Get over here. I was really hoping you guys would attack her. <laughs> attack the lady? Yeah. Who who defeated someone who cast wish spells all willy-nilly? Yeah, let's go ahead and attack her. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, 2,400 each? All right, and that... You would not get the experience reward if, if you hadn't also helped her with the husband. If you guys had left and kept the wand of fireballs, would have negated all of that. So, hooray! Experience! Uh, for everyone else, thank you for being here. Appreciate you very, very much. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, make sure you hit that follow button. If you haven't already, make sure you go underneath the stream. There's a bunch of links down there. Like, you can see our schedule, so you can see all the days that we play on this channel. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 Eastern Daylight Time for an Adventure League game. It's a Tier 4. I'm playing my Level 18 Paladin, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, then we'll be back Thursday night for another Adventure League game. 
Friday night for Ghost of Salt March. We got all kinds of stuff, so check out the schedule. Join us in the Discord, like I explained earlier, and uh, hopefully I see you next time. Thanks again.